All right, and here it is. Yes, that's right. It's the Mari Rock Yume's official home office's room tour. And I'm finally excited to show you all. Wait a minute. What the fuck? How did you get in here? <coughs> Hi, I'm Mari, and I'm a VTuber that's about to commit to the ultimate VTubing sin. This is your immersion break warning. Now, why am I doing this? Well, one, I have a sponsor that I'll talk about a little bit more later on in this video. And two, I realized that I haven't seen a lot of VTubers talk about their stream setup. In fact, I see a lot of VTubers struggle to set up a proper stream space. And that's why I'm willing to break immersion to show you how I set up my desk space for VTubing. Also, I don't really follow a lot of these VTuber rules and um, I seem to be doing pretty well. What are you doing? Okay. You have fun with that. You know, this isn't even my cat. It's my roommate cat. Like, I put this cat bed in here for my cat hop, but Leo always comes in here and goofs around and tries to mess up my stuff by eating plastic. All right, so this is the first part of my room. This is my mini fridge where I keep all of my drinkies or like any kind of snacks. I have lots and lots of gamers up waifu stickers. I collect them and put them on my mini fridge all the time. And then as you can see here, I got my gamer subs and I also have this really cool painting that I like from my favorite anime, Fully Cooly. And yes, this is an actual tin and you'd be surprised to know that it has actual cookies in it and not just a sewing kit. I know, isn't it crazy? You'd think like, it, the craziest about this part too is that it has lasted since Christmas. The cookies, I don't know, they're like, they're good until these cookies last a while, man. All right, and now this is my other desk. This is kind of where I do a lot of like my creative stuff. This is where I like, I go to take a break. This is also where I kind of just put a lot of just nice accessories over here to kind of like, I don't know, it, it keeps the morale up, so to say. <laughs> like, okay, I know it's probably kind of weird. It's like, but Mari, why do you have two desks? And again, it's because I want to take a break from the work that I'm currently doing on my main computer and do like other stuff, especially since I have my laptop. And sometimes like, I just want a moment to have a separate space. There is something really important between being able to like separate your work and then when you wanna have like a space to relax. I don't know what it is about that, but it just works for me. And I specifically like to use this for coloring. I also have a lot of my backpacks and plushies up here. This is my people who silently judges me as I work on my VTuber thing. <laughs> He's uh, very disappointed. And then yeah, I just, I have a lot of bags. So I decided to take some time to hang everything up. And as you can see, I had been coloring um, a little recently. I have this like, Pikachu, oh, not Pikachu, I have like a a Pokemon coloring book. I just, I just stuff junk there, don't worry about that. And look, this is where Gamersubs, my managers at Gamersubs sent me a really nice letter. And yeah, um, I was coloring Snorlax, if you couldn't tell. I really, really like this um, coloring book. And um, this is my laptop that I, yes, I know it's a MacBook, but okay, but hear me out, all right? For anyone who might be thinking like, wow, Mar, you must be loaded. I, uh, I didn't pay for this. It was, uh, it was free. It, it was free. So, I use this and I watch some videos. I really like watching stuff about, like, old and lost media while I color. I don't know, like, that might be kind of weird, but I've been enjoying this video. And yeah, I'll just sit there and color while I listen to stuff and just kind of decompress and relax. Over here, I have my keyboard that I sometimes use because that MacBook is very tiny and it irritates me to try to type on it and do everything. So sometimes I just have like a spare keyboard to kind of type on it when I want to get stuff done. I really like the keys on these. It's a little worn. I kind of hit it a couple times. Anyways, so this is my, um, oh, I got this at TwitchCon last year. I love that coaster. And it goes so good with my gamer sup drinkies. As you could tell, I have all the, the thighs. And then this is my little junk drawer where I kind of put all of my pens and notebooks. This is my little Isabel clock. These are um, kind of like my, uh, how do I say? It's like, I have like a collection of books. I have way more books in this. I have a lot of manga too, but I can't fit that in this room. So these are just some of the books I've been reading recently. 
And I really love my How to ADHD book. In fact, actually, that's not the only thing I have. So over here, I have a bunch of planners and like notebooks and other stuff. But check this out. Oh my gosh. This is so freaking cool. The anti-planner when how to get shit done. You don't feel like it. I love this anti-planner. It has been my saving grace. Like, thank you. Shout out to Danny for making this because the whole your worth is not measured in productivity has really put things into different perspectives for me and it's helped me a lot like i i highly recommend that planner and then as you can see down here i have other artsy type of stuff again like this is kind of like my craft desk when i don't want to work on just you know my other like digital work this is kind of where i decompress i doodle i have a <laughs> yes it's a it's a calf fart but don't judge me um <clears throat> And then this is just a spare monitor. I had swapped that out for like the other monitors on my desk that I'll show you in a second here. But yeah, that's pretty much like the main stuff over there. Oh, 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 I almost forgot. Oh yeah, I got this Diablo poster at BlizzCon like a long, long time ago. And I got them all signed by the actual people. It was really cool. And this is my Hololife poster that um was given to me by... uh my friend exo yeah 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 oh my gosh i almost forgot who gave me that poster yeah exo exo also gave me this other poster over here in the corner but like look at all the other posters that i've collected over the years and i just i don't know i collect a lot of anime posters um this one uh over here is my little uh shrine i you see this moon right here I hate this moon. This moon sucks. It literally, I cannot get it to work properly. So I'm honestly gonna throw it away because it irritates me. But look, yeah, I got my own little uh, tarot stuff. I do, in fact, use tarot cards. And this one is my favorite deck in particular. It is the dream deck. It's a tarot deck all based around dreams and the obscurity of it. Might have to censor some of these because I don't think uh, YouTube will appreciate that. But yes, I have a lot of tarot cards actually. In these bags are a bunch of little crystals here because I try to like have a more positive energy and vibe around my workspace since work can often be a little stressful. And having things like this, like I have sage, I also have like, um, you saw the Sailor Moon necklace that was up there earlier and down below. I have more tarot cards because again, like this is something that I use to help me practice mindfulness and kind of just, you know, check on like my overall well-being. You would be surprised how important it is to constantly have self-care routines. And that is one of the things that I like to do. I don't know how many like VTubers or even content creators in general talk about their self-care routine besides like, you know, makeup channels and like other stuff like that. But I want to emphasize how important it is to have self-care routines and how important it is to have like a space for yourself to relax like don't get me wrong i do everything on my computer but sometimes like if you're always doing everything that you do is always about work you're going to get burned out and that's why it's important to have some kind of space to have fun that's often why like bedroom desks and stuff are always kind of a bad idea because it's hard to distinguish between work and bed like if you now i'm not trying to like make anyone feel bad about like their setup especially if you have it in your bedroom because I used to have it in my bedroom and this was something I really struggled with a lot until I finally decided to take like a spare bedroom in here and then turn this into kind of like my little office space. So now I don't have a guest room, but like I, I kind of needed it because I, I had a really difficult time trying to separate work life and like not work life because everything was work for me. And that's why I wanted to decorate this whole room. Like I put so many posters up on here. I'm actually really proud of these posters too. Oh God, that's right. Okay, we need to talk about this real quick. All right, um, right, don't judge me, first of all, okay? Second of all, this was a gift, okay? I did not buy this. This was a Christmas gift, and I have it up there because I don't, you know, want to show my reflection. But yes, down here, I have all of my little fidget toys. I have this deck of cards that I used with the anti-planner to help me kind of get stuff done. It's, it's just, I don't know. I like having puzzles. I have a little tech deck here. Just things to fidget with. Like, look at this. Look at this. It pops. It pops. It pops. And it feels really nice. And then I have a little Tamagotchi. Just fun gadgets when I want to fidget around my desk. Because again, like, I get... I have ADHD, so I have to fidget. I got these two books right here. Um, and this is where I keep all of my other craft stuff. And pencils. And, like, Sharpies. You know, all, like, just normal office stuff. This is my drawing tablet that I keep right here near my desk. So that way, whenever I want to draw, it's right there. And, yeah... I 
Oh my gosh, that's right. I have pins. That's right. I do. I collect a lot of pins. So many pins. I don't know why, but I... I mean, look at this. Look at those pins. A lot of them I got at TwitchCon. In fact, I think one of these I have... Yeah, right here. I have just dedicated TwitchCon pins. Just I collected every single TwitchCon pin that I could possibly do. And these are all like my Pokemon pins. And then these are kind of like just my video game pins. I... I really like pins, if you couldn't tell. And this is where I like to talk about this video's sponsor, Aver Media, because they're the ones who sent me this microphone, boom arm, and audio interface. If you didn't know, Aver Media is one of the biggest audiovisual tech companies, and they make a lot of different equipment for gaming, streaming, YouTubers, podcasters, esports productions, and more. They sent me their live streamer creators control center, their live streamer boom arm, and their live streamer 3300 microphone. Like, why is setting up audio equipment so difficult. I hate spending hours looking up tutorials, hoping to find the right one that'll help me get the right audio quality. And so that's why today I'm really excited to try out Aver Media's live streamer 330 microphone because all I had to do is plug it in. No, literally. That's all I had to do was just plug it in into my live streamer Nexus and it's just working. It just works. Finding the perfect boom arm for your microphone shouldn't be difficult, right? Well, after trying out several different boom arms, I realized that my biggest issue is that they're either not strong enough to hold my microphone, or it's very limited in its range of movement. So I was really surprised to see Aver Media come out on top with their boom arm because it has movable joints that you can rotate to place your microphone at any angle you want. And let me just say that I have never had a boom arm do that. And honestly, it's like probably my favorite product from Aver Media because this is what happens when you combine the GoXLR, a Stream Deck, and VTube Studio. And lastly, if you use my code MARI, you get 10% off. This code will be valid in, all the way until December 31st, 2024. So use code MARI for 10% off at Aver Media. Link will be in the description down below. Thank you, Aver Media, for sponsoring this video. And let me try out these products with my new office setup. So this is my main desk setup. Now you'll notice that it's not as pretty like the rest of my room is or even my other desk in the corner and that was done on purpose. I noticed a lot of other VTubers who have posted their desk setup or content creators in general put a lot of things on their desk but every time I have tried to do this I found it really difficult to focus on well my work and that's why I separated my fun desk from my work desk. But just because I don't have a lot of accessories on here doesn't mean that I didn't add my own charm with my items. You see this keyboard is Death Note! I love my Death Note keycaps and it makes me so happy to use. Eventually, I plan on putting new switches in at some point whenever I have the extra bones. But also, check this out. I got a matchy mouse pad with it too! Now, you'll notice here I have a two PC setup and that's because VTubing takes up so much resources and if I want to run a game like VRChat or some other program that's pretty resource hungry, then I start having a lot of frame rate issues and to fix that, I just decided to build a dedicated streaming PC. I actually got a lot of these parts on sale, so you know, it's not like super decked out, but I am pretty happy that I waited for a lot of stuff to go on sale because these computers do pretty much everything that I need. I also have all this set up with a magnetic desk from Secret Labs, and I also got this on sale. I really like waiting for things to go on sale because, you know, it's a, it's a lot more affordable. But even with this being on sale, it still costs a lot so um i'm financing it right now because this desk was totally worth it and here's why you'll notice that there's no cables down here and that's because all my cables are stashed away in this little compartment yes that's right i don't have to worry about any cable management and this desk is completely modular and i use these magnetic clips to keep my cables organized because remember i have adhd which means i get distracted very 
very easily. And if my desk is a mess, then I feel like a mess, which, you know, I pretty much am, but that's not the point of this video. And that really just stresses me out, which is why I have everything neatly organized here, because the last thing anyone needs is for me to have a meltdown on Twitter over something like, I don't know, me hitting my microphone and it shooting up in the air and having to constantly readjust it. I really like this boom arm, it kinda, it's just so nice to readjust. Which, once again, thank you Avermedia for sending me this boom arm, because it's been a life saver for my ADHD brain that has to constantly move around, and when you combine that with this being a stand-up desk, then it makes me a very happy, smooth brain. One thing I will say that kinda sucks about having a magnetic desk is that my IMU trackers that I use for my 3D VTubing and VR chat really don't like the magnetic part of this desk, and it does mess up my tracking quite a bit. But I don't mind dealing with that kind of inconvenience because the pros of not having to manage my cables outweigh the cons of having to recalibrate my trackers more often. Overall, I'm really proud of my office setup and I don't know, I was, I was nervous to show you this space because I pretty much live here and with how much time I spend working on content, it, it just feels like a very intimate space to be sharing with, you know, lots of random people on the internet, but um, I'm glad I was able to give you a little insight on basically, well, the entire creation of the Mari Yume channel and all of my other content adventures. And that's pretty much it for my setup. I still want to add more things in here, but I... I just, I don't know what, like I don't really have like an aesthetic going on so far. It's kind of like a discombobulated like, uh, you know, honestly, it's kind of on brand for me at this point, but <laughs> if you have any suggestions on how I could improve my office space, maybe you could suggest me some aesthetics or something like that, then let me know in the comments down below and also give me some suggestions on other like faceless vlog style videos if you like seeing this kind of content because this was a lot of fun and I hope me showing you my workspace could inspire you to show me yours on Discord because remember, Everything reminds you of something. Bye! Unless if you're like me who forgets to clean in here and everything piles up and then...